Uh, yeah, I have a desert in my uh, novel. Uh, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. the sand yeah. should sue me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right now. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I know. So yeah, to me they're super original, and that's one of the things yes. that I love about Warhammer, uh, that they do take some concepts from other universes, but that is it. They just take like the concept, the mm -hmm. essence, a bit of it, and they they change everything about it. They make it totally different, totally original. That is why. I mean, I'm so, 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 so love the aesthetic and everything about 40k because it is different. Mm -hmm. And I just cannot believe when somebody again, like Bricky comes along and he's like, ah, they took everything from everyone else. They took everything. They just copied because, everyone. Uh, because everything else was original to begin with. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Everything else was already original. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, George Lucas, like I've said uh, previously, this example that he was inspired by the samurai and he decided to oh, create Jedi. Not to, not to mention that he actually was, uh, I said it before, but he was also inspired by the French comic book uh, Valerian, that they made the movie Valerian and the Thousand Sons was it the movie or things like that with uh, Dave the Han and that. Uh, Dave the Han. The Han and that um, model girl, I forgot her name. They must forget again. Anyway, the ironic thing was that everything in those comic books, you know, from the design that is literally a scene in a canteen, that is like the scene nah. in the canteen, the design, uh, some of the clothing, the design of the ships also, uh, there is a guy that looks like Darth Vader, everything is from those comic books, which George Lucas said it, and the person who created the comic book and drew the stuff when he watched the first, you know, episode four, <laughs> no. when he watched episode 4 for the first time he saw those things and he wasn't angry or something but he said these are these are the things that I drew and they inspired someone to make that movie there and, and he was wait happy. I got confused yeah yeah <laughs> Valerian is before Star yeah. Wars yeah yeah the comic book yeah from uh, 1960 something okay so he yeah. saw that and then he yeah. brought it to star wars mm -hmm. and he made it okay mm -hmm. along with the japanese stuff and things so it's again different things that uh, he smooshed together into one that he basically was inspired by yeah but and unlike then... that unlike that in 40k actually everything is drastically changed mm -hmm. compared mm -hmm. to what is what it has been inspired by mm -hmm. like the tyrannids are not like alien they kind yeah, of resemble yeah. it like with, with the with the you head. You can see that they are inspired by that, but but everything but else everything is different. Yeah. It's so different, like the the species itself, how it's described, what can it do, mm -hmm. uh, what uh, what is their purpose, the different yeah. kinds of tyrannids. There are just so many things added upon that that's mm -hmm. totally new and different and amazing, and uh, that is how you make a transformative content. Not, not when you resemble the original thing that you're inspired by so much, but when you take some parts of that and then you pff, blow he it. He didn't resemble the ships, you can just see again the design. He, just, he changed stuff, of course. Yeah, but still the canteen. Just the person yeah. who... Yeah, well, but that, that's if you, you know, if you're a Star Wars fan, you will recognize it. But, you know, he said it many, many times before. That, that's the scene. Not that the same thing happens, just the canteen looks kind of like that canteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and so on the ships. Okay, point being, maybe mm -hmm. stop uh, accusing Warhammer 40k of stealing everything from mm -hmm. everyone because stealing is one thing and being inspired by and creating your own thing is totally another thing and a lot of universes, creators and whoever are doing it. In any case, that is how creation works, but as long as you make it your own and make it very, very different and still recognizable and still uh, very very specific that that's what it matters that's when it's new and now the new thing is born from something else i mean Dune is inspired by uh, arabian things but nobody accuses that of stealing so, <laughs> so why, why why is that why is that, you know? uh, yeah i have a desert in my uh, novel uh, yeah whoa, whoa, whoa. the sand yeah. should sue me yeah absolutely <laughs> right now absolutely. The, sand. Yeah. the sand should sue me quinn do you want to add something no i agree 100 percent no, oh, okay. Trans transformative influence. I mean, you look at Tolkien's work, you could say that he is the original creator of that whole world of orcs and elves and things mm. like that. But he was still influenced by other creation myths and other uh, mythologies and fairy tales to create his elves and dwarves. Mm. And But he made it transformative and into his own material. And that influenced Lord of the Rings in Warhammer 40,000, in the fantasy, and in the Lord of the Rings games. 
and all the orcs that you have in D and D, and the elves and the Witcher, for example. Yeah. So they they're just taking material that is a baseline and then going off in a different direction with it and having different lore, different influences, different perspectives, different creation myths to add the flavor to it. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, indeed. The 40K Empress teaches fitness, health, nutrition, and helps with your intimate relationships at OnlyFans. Yes, I know what you're thinking, but she doesn't use it for slanesh things. Go there and let her help you with what you truly need. The link is down below in the description dimension. Go on, click the link. I'd know if you didn't. I see you.